the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, a Target 8 investigation. Well, the county cleaned up her property when she wouldn't do it herself. Now the problem is starting all over again. A Citrus Park man is asking Hillsborough County to stop a neighbor from turning her property into a junkyard. You already paid to clean up one big mess that she made, and taxpayers have not been paid back for that. Well, now Target A senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews is telling us there's another junk pile in the making. Yeah, you know, it's no fun living near a place like no. that. Now the question is, is it going to take Hillsborough County another 20 years to do something about it? Porches are packed with junk at this Amherst Street address. Now clutter is flowing into the driveway. Neighbor Bob Mullins feels like it's deja vu all over again. Uh, nothing's improved. Mullins knew he was in for a nightmare when Brenda Owings bought a house across the street from him. For years, he complained about another one of her properties right around the corner on Burkford Avenue. When he made Target 8 aware of it in July 2014, it was jammed from one corner to the other with rotting, rusting, rancid rubbish. Somehow, she even shoehorned a school bus in here. For 18 years, the county wrestled with this refuse problem. At 50 bucks a day since 1997, she ran up 548 grand in code enforcement fines. Minimal effort to clean this, many excuses. And I have neighbors that's been harassing me, and they been acting like it's their property. These people over here are about like trailer trash. After three months of our ongoing reports, Hillsboro changed an ordinance allowing it to move heavy equipment onto this homesteaded property and clean it up if she wouldn't. Why didn't you do this before? I her? couldn't do it while I had surgery at the VA hospital, sir. Look, look, I had, you want to get that? I had been cut open through here. That looks pretty, don't it? This cleanup cost taxpayers 60 grand. Last year, the county began the foreclosure process. It is mired in legal mud. The Burkford property is now up for sale. Miss Owings? At a third property she owns, I found a truck full of who knows what. Bob Mullins wonders if it's headed his way and how long the county will allow this code enforcement struggle to drag on. And she just thumbs her nose at him. Like he did on the Burkford Avenue property, Bob Mullins is now complaining to code enforcement about the Amherst Street junk pile. He's hopeful it won't take 20 years to address this growing problem, but says Brenda Owings knows how to play the county. Mm. Yeah, it sounds like Brenda may have a problem, too. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff she continues to accumulate. Yeah. Uh, but, but what about the money that's being spent here? Tax money's being spent. Are we going to get that back? That's a good question. It's one I asked today. Now, the uh, county has a foreclosure hearing scheduled April 5th in an effort to recover that $60,000 plus that we've spent on this. Now, as far as that $548,000 in code enforcement yeah. fines. Good luck getting that. Good luck right. getting that. Yeah. But three houses, three properties three to go properties, after. Yeah. you got to yeah. be careful. We're going to be watching on this one. Thanks, Steve. Sure. And if you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, call our Target 8 helpline, the number 1-800-338-0808.